the Milwaukee streetcar is on track. I think it's great. It's, um, it's exciting. City leaders see the streetcar as an economic engine driving downtown development. Still, not everyone is on board. I think it's kind of silly. It's a lot of money for, for not much. One concern for opponents, how to pay for the $128 million price tag. We are not using any tax levy dollars for this project. Federal funding accounts for $55 million, $14 million in a separate federal grant, and $59 million from local taxing districts. Loans the city will repay using revenue from increased values only in specific neighborhoods that benefit from the streetcar. But that's just part of the price. The cost of building the system and getting the streetcar running really isn't as much a concern for a lot of critics as the potential cost of keeping the streetcar running down the road. Federal dollars will cover 80% of the operating costs for three years, and $10 million from a 12-year Potawatomi sponsorship will include free rides for everyone for the first year. After that? Well, it depends if people want to ride it, you know, so but they'll find out. The future of the hop will hinge on how many jump on board. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. The streetcar is set to begin operations sometime this fall.